Hello and welcome back to another video. So in this video we are going to solve another past year paper of pure mathematics 3 from October November 2019 9709 and the code is 33. So we are going to solve only first four question in this video and the rest in the next videos. So let's start with the first question. Here is the question number one. Solve the inequality 2 times modulus x plus 2 greater than modulus 3x minus 1. So as we have discussed in previous videos as well, whenever, whenever we have the modulus both the sides, we should square both the sides. That, that is the, going to be the best way to solve for the uh, values of x. So squaring both the sides, we will get 4 times x square plus 4x plus 4 and inequality does not change if you do take the square root a square and now it the left right hand side become 9x square minus 6x minus minus no, sorry plus 1 so now we will transfer let me solve it once more so 4x square plus 16x and plus 16 greater than 9x square minus 6x plus 1 so we can write this thing again as 9x square minus 6 uh, minus 6x six plus 1 less than 4x square plus 16x plus 16. It is not required but I have written it so that we can get the x square coefficient positive. I am going to transfer everything towards uh, the left hand side from here and we will get 5x square and minus 6 minus 16 that is minus 22x and plus 1 minus 16 is minus 15 less than 0. Now we only need to solve this quadratic inequality uh, like uh, we need to find the roots and we know this is going to be cup shape and if you find the roots if we can find the roots these two values then we can see uh, since it is less than 0 so for that particular uh, for this part of the curve we need the x between these two. So we'll find the roots now. For that, we can see it is 5 into minus 15, 75, and 22. We can get 75 by 25 minus 3. So we are going to get 5x square minus 25x plus 3x, so that it will give minus 22 minus 15 less than 0. Or can, we can take 5 common, 5x sorry, and then we'll get x minus 5 from here. And the last two terms we'll get by taking 3 common x minus 5 again. So it means we got x minus 5 in one bracket and in another bracket 5x plus 3. So we can get the roots. So roots are going to be minus 3 by 5 here. Another root from here that is 5 so it would be here. And we, the x values we can write from here directly that x value is going to be in between the least root that is minus 3 by 4, 5 and less than 5, the maximum root. So that's it. Let's do the next question. Uh, here's the question number 2. The polynomial 6x cubed plus ax square plus bx minus 2, it is denoted by px. So we'll write p of x as 6x cubed plus ax square plus bx plus uh, minus 2 and a and b are constants it is given that 2x plus 1 is a factor of px so by factor theorem we can see 2x plus 1 is a factor of px it means by factor theorem we can say that p of the root of 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 that is uh, minus 1 by 2 that is p of minus 1 by 2 would be 0 from here and and when px is divided by x plus 2 that is a linear polynomial the remainder is minus 24. So by remainder theorem from here we can write p of minus 2 would be minus 24. So this is from the factor theorem and this is from the remainder theorem. Now we are going to find the values of a and b. So we can see we only need to put these values and find the values of polynomial at minus 1 by 2 and minus 2. So by this equation we will get it as minus 6 over 8 plus a over 4 minus b over 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 and from here 
we will get by p is equal to minus 2 putting here and we will get minus 8 6 into 8 6 into 8 sorry it is cube 6 into 8 it is 48 and then a x square so it is plus 4 a and minus 2 b and minus 2 is equal to minus 24 so we get this where these two values now we can solve it uh, let's multiply let's simplify it a little bit more it is three times and this is four times and then we'll multiply this whole equation by four to get rid of this uh, denominator and we will get it as minus three plus a minus two b minus four to the eight is equal to zero or we can write it as a minus 2b is equal to 8 3 11 so another side it become plus 11 and this is equation number one we can say and from here we can see it is 4a minus 2b become plus 50 minus 24 that is 26 so the another equation we can get it from here 4a minus 2b is equal to 26 let's say it is the equation number two and by subtracting let's subtract the equation one from equation two equation one from equation two because we know that it is minus 2b minus 2b so it would be cancelled and 4a minus a it is 3a is equal to 26 minus 11 it is 15 so from here we got a is equal to 5 and when we will get a is equal to 5 we will put it here in this first equation and you will get 5 minus 2b is equal to 11 or 2b is equal to 5 minus 11 that is minus 6 so we got b value as minus 3 so a is 5 and b is minus 3 these two are the values we require now let's do the third question here's the question number three showing all the necessary working solve the equation this is equal to 4 give your answer to correct to three decimal places so here we are going to first of all solve it so that we can get the things in 3 raised to the power x form only it is minus x so i need to convert it so let's do the cross multiplication 3 raised to the power 2x plus 3 raised to the power minus x is equal to 4 times 3 raised to the power 2x minus 3 raised to the power minus x and now we can write it as 3 raised to the power 2x plus 1 upon 3 raised to the power x is equal to 4 into 3 raised to the power 2x minus 4 upon 3 raised to the power x because we know that a raised to the power minus n is 1 over a raised to the power positive n and hence now we can solve it let's uh, let's calculate it one more step i'll take it here so it become 4 upon 3 raised to the power x and plus 1 upon 3 raised to the power x is equal to 4 into 3 4 into 3 raised to the power 2x plus oh, sorry minus 3 raised to the power 2x that would be 3 times 3 raised to the power 2x and this become 5 5 upon 3x 3 raised to the power x so i'll transfer it to the other side and we'll get 3 into 3 raised to the power 2x into 3 raised to the power x so it can be 3 written as 3 raised to the power 3x plus 1 3x plus 1 so from here we'll take the log of both the side and we'll get ln 5 is equal to 3x plus 1 times ln 3 or 3x plus 1 is equal to ln 5 upon ln 3 and it is 1.464973 so it is 7 let's write it till here and then it is x is equal to this minus 1 so it is 0 0.464973 divide by 3 and that is going to be 0 0.1549 so it is 5 
and since we require till three decimal places so that is the answer of this so i hope it is clear so we uh, let me tell you there are, are other ways also we could have simply multiplied here at this place by 3 raised to the power x and we got 5 directly and this to the other side so there are so many ways let's do the next question question number 4 first part by first expanding t tan of 2x plus x show that equation tan 3x is equal to 3 cot x can be written in this form so here 2x plus x double angle form uh, sum of the ta tangent of a plus b we are going to use and it would be uh, tan 3x tan 3x is equal to 3 cot x or we can write it as tan of 2x plus x so I will use the formula directly 2x plus tan of x upon 1 minus tan of 2x into tan of x is equal to 3 and cot x is 1 over tan x so it is upon tan x again now we can see there is again double angle formula for tan so for double angle formula for tangent we are going to use here so tan 2x is 2 times tan x over 1 minus tan square x plus tan x whole upon 1 minus again 2 times tan x upon 1 minus tan square x into tan x is equal to 3 times 3 over tan x. So we will solve it and the next step this is going to be I am going to take the LCM of this 1 minus tan square x and here also so it, this 2 will be cancelled and we will get 2 times tan x plus tan x into this whole so it is going to be tan x minus tan cube x the whole upon 1 minus tan square x because this thing will be multiplied here and minus 2 times tan square x tan x into tan x is tan x square x is equal to 3 over tan x now let's do the cross multiplication and by while adding the like terms or subtracting the like terms we will get 2 times tan x of 3 times sorry 3 times tan x minus tan cube x is equal to 3 times 1 minus 3 tan square x or we can write it as 3 times tan square x minus tan power 4x is equal to 3 minus 9 tan square x so since it is minus 10 power 4 so we will transfer to the other side we will get 0 that this side and it become 10 raised to the power 4x it is minus 10 square x it is my plus 3 so the other side is minus 3 10 square x so it become minus 9 minus 3 minus 12 10 square x plus 3 and that's the equation we need to show it can be written in this form so I hope it is clear let's do the next part of this question is the second part hence solve the equation tan x tan 3x is equal to 3 cot x is uh, for x between 0 and 90 so we have got an equation which uh, we can write this as this equation can be written as 10 raised to the power 4x minus 12 tan square x and plus 3 is equal to 0 from first part this is from first part we got uh, and then we can take for instance tan square x as let's say t so we'll get this equation in the it's quadratic in t then so it become t square minus 12 t plus 3 is equal to 0 and in order to solve it now we are going to solve by the quadratic equation quadratic formula and that is t is equal to minus b so it is plus 12 plus minus square root of my b square that is 144 minus 4ac so 4 into 312 over 2a that is 2 
and this become minus uh, sorry it is 12 only 12 plus minus square root of 132 over 2 it is uh, 2 root 33 so it become 12 plus minus 2 root 33 over 2 now we can cancel this 2 as everywhere both the terms so we can write it as tan square x is equal to 6 plus root 33 sorry plus minus so we will get two roots so one will be 11.7445 so 745 here and the next by taking it as minus minus sign here in place of plus we will get it as 0 0.25543 so it is 255 so from here we'll take tan x square root of this and of course we are not going to take the minus of this because when you will take the square root we are going to get the minus plus both but here we have 0 to 90 so if, if within 0 to 90 uh, this x value within 0 to 90 10 is never negative so it is only square root of plus plus uh, 7 square root of 7 for 5 and plus root 0 0.255 and these two values are it is coming 3.427 and the it is coming 0 0.5049 so from here we will get x by taking the inverse of it tangent inverse of it so we are going to get the two value one value will get it as tangent inverse of 3.427 as 73.73 so only 7 degree and one value from here will get it as x is equal to tangent inverse of 5 uh, 0.5049 it is 26 26.78 so 26.8 degree so the solution for this equation uh, are x is equal to 26.8 degree and 73.7 degree uh, so that's it for this video and we will be discussing the next three equations in the next video thank you so much